In this unit circle survival guide, we'll look at the exact value of the sine of 420 degrees, and we'll use the SARC method. So here's our outline, and SARC is just an acronym to help you remember the steps. So S stands for sketch the angle. We'll do that for the terminal side. A stands for ASTC, which helps us know which trig functions are positive in each of the quadrants so that we can decide if our final answer should be positive or negative. R stands for our reference triangle, so we'll find the reference angle and then the special right triangle and coordinates that go with that angle. And C stands for calculate, so we'll calculate the trig ratio. And we'll do this again with sine of 420 degrees. So the first thing we'll do is we'll sketch the angle's terminal side. And we want to notice two things about our angle. First, it's a positive angle, so that means we'll rotate in the counterclockwise direction. And then second, this is more than one rotation counterclockwise um, because we know 360 degrees are in a circle. So we need to find a co-terminal angle that'll more help, uh, more easily help us see where our terminal side is. And so all we need to do to find that co-terminal angle is subtract 360 degrees. So we'll have 420 minus 360 and that gives us 60 degrees, which is co-terminal with 420. And it's much easier to sketch 60 degrees. We know that that is going to be in quadrant one, about right here. And remember, co-terminal means they share the same terminal side. So this is the terminal side for 420 as well. We just had to rotate an additional counterclockwise rotation to get there. All right, so now that we have our terminal side, we see it's in quadrant one. We can use ASTC, think all students take classes, to know if our final answer should be positive or negative. Now, before we really even get into that, I like to just know, okay, it's in the first quadrant, great, our answer is positive. And that's due to the A right here. So all trig functions are going to be positive in the first quadrant. Um, so we know that, we can go ahead and mark that for our answer. Anything in the first quadrant should be really easy to work with. If your angle's terminal side was in the other, you can see you just work your way around. The S goes to quadrant two, so sine and its reciprocal are the only ones positive there. T in quadrant three for tangent and cotangent being positive, and C in quadrant four, meaning cosine and its reciprocal secant are positive there. All right, so we know our final answer will be positive, and now we can move on to our reference triangle. Uh, another reason I like the first quadrant is because a first quadrant angle is going to be its own reference angle. Because we know a reference angle is simply the amount of rotation between the angle's terminal side and the x-axis. Okay, so we said we're working here with this co-terminal angle 60, um, so the reference angle is 60 degrees. That means we're working with this 30, uh, 60, 30, 90 special right triangle. Okay, and that's the one that has the shorter horizontal legs, so the x-coordinate is going to be 1 half, and the y-coordinate will be square root of 3 over 2. And we know that from our knowledge of our special right triangles. All right, finally, step four, we're going to calculate. And there's actually not too much calculation to go on here with finding the sine of an angle. We know that the sine of an angle in the unit circle is simply going to be the y-coordinate. Uh, we already decided it was positive, it's in the first quadrant, and we know we just want the y-coordinate, so the sine of 420 degrees is positive, square root of 3 over 2. Be sure to check out the links in the video description. There will be links to more examples and uh, to help with any basic unit circle skills that you may need. Thanks for watching.